Is that, is that how we're gonna start this one? Just. Yay! Concoctions of deliciousness. <clears throat> and welcome back to Floating Box. Playing more Mario. Last time, we got stars. And he's talking about. You was about ready to, to say something, <clears throat> and then it was time to, to stop. I was gonna say, steak cantina quesadilla. Kind of strikes me as like one of the most uh, uh, random, lazy, and racist wrestling stage names I could possibly think of, but not in any of the companies that would have a television deal. Kind of like the local $5 ticket things. Uh -huh. <coughs> in this corner, <laughs> Marty! I'm, I'm, I'm curious, how is that racist though? Like, how, where in the title of the wrestling name does, does racism come into this? Well, no, it's, it's once you get the visual, because it'd be like, Oh, my name is Steak Cantina Quesadilla. I should probably talk with the thickest accent possible, go out there with the sombrero, and the poncho. I'll even go out there carrying a bag of Taco Bell. I'll just be eating nachos on my way to the ring. All right. I was like, why don't we have the, the, the shiny coin? You died after you grabbed it. Saws. It's alright. When it's actually time to go back and get the coins, then we'll go and get the coins. We need 300 star bits. No, I wasn't trying to freaking center bar. See? It's not just me. It's because of the microphone. I think it's because no, <coughs> it is not because of the mic. What is? Okay. I don't. I don't know. We're going to dig a leg. Can you dig it? Just because you mentioned wrestler, I'm now thinking of Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, we coming for you, sucker! Can you dig it? Princess Peach, I done come to, uh, I done come to save you five times, five times, five times, five times, five times. Yo, Booker T, I I I know you're you're on a rant here and I'ma let you finish. <laughs> but you ain't but never King been... Booker was the better persona of all time. <laughs> you ain't plus you ain't never been to save Princess Peach. Never in your life. <laughs> ah! How'd you get up here? Keep an eye out for other Lumas ahead. Try to find them too. Let's go! Awesome. I'm killing plants. <clears throat> You're killing vegetables. Welcome to the desolate, desert, barren, wasteland rocks of galaxies. Please, let me kill any signs of life whatsoever. How is there even enough water out here to support vegetation? I don't know, you see that, like, those floating bits of dust and stuff? Mm -hmm. That's probably it. That explains it. That explains everything. So see, Mario and Banjo are terrible role models for children because they're teaching all the young players that every time you see a vegetable, you must not eat it. You must assassinate it with your hands. <laughs> Stab that tomato to death with your fork. Eat your peas, Junior. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I stab it enough, I'll get coins. Do I have to get Booker T to make you eat your vegetables? <laughs> How is Booker T gonna make... Don't answer that. I'm gonna hit him with an axe kick. An axe kick? Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna tape the, the I am a douchebag deodorant on his boot and just kick children. Why 
why don't we go one step further and he's going to attack people with axe kicks. He's going to take the deodorant and mix it with the breakfast cereal and just start shooting it at children with a slingshot. <laughs> Smells good and tastes good, sucker. <laughs> this don't taste like <laughs> oats. <laughs> Do you, like, remember that freaky horse from Rugrats? Yeah. Vaguely. <laughs> this doesn't taste like oats. <laughs> it's because it's cyanide. <laughs> die, horse, die! <laughs> so, I know you've been whacking Goombas, but, like... It's, it's a Goomba, Gary. It's more fun to whack them. It is more fun to whack them. <coughs> like that. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> ah! Can't you see I'm looking for Lomas? Who told you that it was okay? <laughs> oh, I made it without having to dig. In front of my territory. And try to keep me from capturing Lomas. Oh, it's Toad! It's Mario, right? Are you serious? Who else walks around in blue suspenders and a red shirt and has an M on his hat? So, you're Mario, right? I am the Toad Brigade Captain! And I'm about as smart as a sack of bricks. <coughs> There's an enemy over there! I, 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 Berta. <coughs> Sorry, I screwed it up. <coughs> hey, Berta! Before we got recruited into the Guinea Force, didn't we work for something like a, the Toad Brigade? Seems like we worked for the Toad Brigade Captain before we worked for Captain Ginyu. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what led to DBZ? Captain. <laughs> Literally, that was it. Okay. Jace is a fun voice to do. And I felt like it. <laughs> he was talking about being a captain. <coughs> like we were talking about cereal earlier. Captain Crunch would have been a better, a better thing. But I mean, I, I'll take it. It's just you, you, you really threw me off. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Look at that thing's face. <laughs> kind of looks like Beto. I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say it looked like something Dark Eggman would make. Trying to defeat that Edgehog. <coughs> yes. Sonic, behold my next greatest invention! The squid leg thingy! Actually it's kinda like uh Bowser presents it to him. So uh what do you think? Well, I I think it's impressive. Very good design. Kind of lo looks exactly like something that I would make and use on that hedgehog. Only... What? what? No. Only what? It's missing something. It's missing a mustache, and it's not quite egg-shaped. And why is its weakness the underside? It should always be the top. Unless it's the final boss. Is that the final boss? Final boss of that world. I'm talking about the whole game. Think about the big picture. The big picture here, King Koopa. You need mustaches and egg themes everywhere. Every boss has to have egg in the name. Like, that looks like a squid, so I should call that the egg squid. Or the... The... Or the squig. No, 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 no. The Seth Eggalopod. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? 
Mustaches and eggs. With weak heads. <laughs> and rings. Plenty of rings everywhere. You've got to give the player a chance to survive. Unless it's the final boss, then you only whoa, give that whoa, son of a gun whoa, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Player. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not <laughs> as intelligent as me. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I understand. Just like... Let's stay within the confines of the walls. Let's not go beyond that fourth wall there. No need to break out of it. <laughs>